Hey guys, welcome to game two between Space and Father. Father is starting the upper right-hand corner as the yellow Terran. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Space as the blue Protoss. This is on Bombast Eclipse, which I believe is just Eclipse, but with BSL markings. I'll have to verify that overall. Actually, you should double-check that with all these maps. you think I would have done that before getting in that, but that's the preparation of Diggity. Mostly, I chalk that up to time preparation. Nevertheless, I'm expecting a fun match. I really liked game one, actually, because it really highlighted Father's ability to, once he's in his comfort zone, to adjust and mark and macro. And you saw the power of his macro. And actually, I feel like his decision-making, in particular, was really excellent. Uh, first of all, to do the drop, but also the follow-up drop and then to call it there, to not persist with constant drops, to take the win where he got it to continue your macro up to the positional, the, the loft into the timing attack, etc., etc. Well played by Father Game 1. We'll see what space has to counter this. I feel like each time, so every game we've seen him thus far versus a Terran opponent, there's been some, you know, action towards the beginning, but he has failed to have that answer for that level one weapons attack around the 11 minute mark. And we'll see if that is the case as we move into this next match. Father placing this barracks right here so he can have that nice marine lane. He can run back and forth against that early zealot. First probe scout moving its way across the map. High ground gateway plus gas on 12-ish. Kind of missed the timing, so I should, shouldn't say that definitively. SCV scout moving its way across as well. And a gas being plopped down. So we're not going to see a 14 command center or anything like that. Most likely a factory build, which would be risky on a two-player map of this kind anyway. And the one thing, the one advantage space does have on this is since it's a two-player map, he is going to be able to get this free annoying probe scout inside the base. But, oh, I take it back. Well played by Father, getting an early probe kill, which is going to put space in the dark. So he's not even going to get, to, I don't think he even got to see the full SEV count of gas. To see whether it was one SCV or additional, etc., etc. Additional supply depot being planted, and that is no fun. Another, so it looks like just and Father's going to be able to see this coming across the map. For it looked like, it looked like for a second he was just going to draw that probe off, and I think yeah, Space is just going to back off with the cell all together, seeing that SCV harassing across the line. So instead, he's just going to opt to keep the cell in a defensive position. He's got his cybernetics core up. He might move back out once he has the dragoon out. We'll see if he goes for Dragoon range or if he just plops at home base and tries to get an earlier Nexus instead, but with a complete lack of information, I don't know, puts space in a very uncomfortable spot. Factory being built about halfway completed right there. I think this is going, yeah, in a bunker, I think Father's going for more of a standard, let's get our command center out early once we have Siege Tank. There is, looks like we do see the Cybernetics core spinning pylon in the corner to keep an eye out on drops. I like that Space does this, where he kind of sneaks these buildings out along the perimeter so he can see incoming drops. Barracks being floated out, being moved to the front door to prevent those runbys. We do have a sneaky SCV that looks like it might... So he's just kind of hanging out here just in case there was a quick additional base, or maybe he's going to try to sneak it by to see whether there's a Nexus take after this. And I'm almost wondering if we're going to, are we just going to see the Nexus after two Dragoons? Or are we going to actually see, so uh, he is in position, he's just building the minerals for it. But he's moving across the map now with that Dragoon, three three Marines and Bunkers. Honestly, I don't even know that he needed that many. So he's going to wait for weapons range before he engages here on the front door. But when he's there, the Siege Tank's not going to be that far behind, which is going to limit the amount of damage and time that are going to be plopped on this bunker initially. It is possible that space could do a run by. The ramp is currently open. Yeah, I can't, this is a wide open area, so he could run by to get scouting information, etc. Let's see if he goes for it. Nope, spreading the units out. Actually, might be able to get this bunker because Father does not have SCVs in position to assist with the repair. Okay, now the SCV is coming down just in time, just in time to get that bunker back up. That was close, and they're going to actually unload. Okay, they were unloading for a moment, either to disrupt the Dragoon shots off the bunker, or perhaps chase down that Zealot. Very close. And now that SEV scout, yeah, sneaky. I like that from Father. Beautiful. 
Beautiful play from Father. He's like, okay, you moved in with those two Dragoons. That means I know there's nothing defending your front. There's nothing preventing me from getting that scout. So sliding in, seeing that Nexus, seeing the get full gateway count at the midpoint. And wow, Space is in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble now. Because first of all, Father economically ahead. Like this Nexus is just now coming online and Father is already mining at his natural expansion. And again, usually you want to be one base ahead or have some sort of tech lead or something like that. Two tanks sitting at the front door, which is leaving and siege, or sorry, he's going for mines. Might have been siege tech upgrade. Doesn't matter though. He's safe on his front door. And he has a huge amount of information on precisely what space was up to and what he's capable of going into the mid game. So I got to feel like father is sitting pretty in this match and he's actually moving out. So interesting. He's got three siege tanks, three Marines and an SCV that are pushing out. This, these two, this is not enough to fight this off completely, but it is enough to get like a free kill and back off from there. And ooh, is that, yeah, the Zelt's gonna get wiped out. This is gonna force space to engage and provide a little bit of delay. But with the reinforcements, he should be able to send this attack back home. This is a nice engagement point. He got the low ground, high ground advantage. Perfect engagement spot for space. Mine being planted on the forefront. But is there going to be a mine drag into everything else? Uh, no, and actually it looks like that mine got picked off. Nice micro by space. Also hunting down that siege tank. So wiping off that attack force, and I gotta say... I'm wondering how necessary that forward attack was uh, from Father. That might be a way for space to sneak back into this. A couple mines for the reinforcements being wiped out. I gotta say, Father's still ahead. But that was a lot of siege tanks lost and not a lot gained. The, he does get a little bit of positional information from the spider mines. He does know that he's not going to have any sort of drop or anything. Well, it's possible there was like a DT drop or something like that. But point being, he knows the Dragoon counts a little bit smaller, so he's not going to have this huge attack coming on his front door. But that siege tank count has been dropped. It's And he's only got one machine shop up. And honestly, in different scenarios where there are more gateways that could have led into a follow-up attack from space to just if he was going for like i don't know a follow-up just straight all in gateway thing that that could have been a, a risky follow-up vultures sneaking back around dragoons with the observer clearing out those mines added information i like the vultures going ahead and clearing i think space is doing a better job this time he's going to go ahead and be a little bit more aggressive he's going to go ahead and get that early expansion up and i think this is going to I think that might be the difference in this match as to whether he can, uh, I'm looking for that factory, or sorry, look, so where is it? There it is, not factory, the armory and weapons one being upgraded. I can always just check the production tab. I do have that up. Father doing a good job mining these additional bases to try to stop that third. So level, so it looks like we do have that weapons upgrade being built, but we're still sitting at three factories here with the two machine shops rather than going up to the full six or anything like that. So I think what Father's going to do here is he's going to, aim for more of a long-term economic uh, sort of posture rather than going for that that timing attack that we've seen in the previous games. And we'll see if that's also the difference here. Space, uh, single vulture is going to be able to kill that probe. And whenever you can do that, you're disrupting mining time and keeping that nexus from getting up that much sooner. Father's done a really fantastic job, by the way, of whenever space has been out here with any sort of any sort of attack force whatsoever, he's been right on top of it. And Father actually might be moving out anyway to, to see if he can... Okay, no, this is just to... For a second there, I was like, is he moving out to, for some sort of... No, he's just actually planting some additional space to plop some mines, get some siege tanks, and go ahead and take his third without having to float it over defensively. Because... And I like... And I think that is opened up primarily because of all that vulture harass that Father was so successful with. Also plopping down a starport. I think this is anticipation less of getting a drop or anything like that. More anticipation of trying to get uh, maintain that upgrade advantage. I don't even think we have a forge down opposite corner. So that upgrade advantage is going to hold for Father. And I think what Father is going to be up against, or what he's going to be up against is I think space is very sneaky. I think he feels the wind of the, the wind of this. He feels the direction that the winds are blowing. And so he, I think, is going to posture for an early fourth. And try to... I like what he's doing here. Moving up for a little map control. That mine did not get get hit. And this is the one thing... This is a lot with this observer here. He sees, okay, that territory. And it's a smart decision. 
seeing that father was taking a more defensive posture trying to establish that third yeah let's go ahead and move up save up take our fourth and harass this simultaneously make sure that father spends extra resources i don't know in turrets and things like that stays back while that additional base is being taken so using map control to try to take that economic advantage but no i thought he was going to just sit back with this he's moving in the zealots do not have speed but we do have a dropship underneath to plop on top SEV's linebackering all these dragoons back beautiful engagement i have to say from father an interesting pincer attack but this is going to be repelled easily yeah i thought without zealot leg speed without high templar without anything of the sort that space was just going to posture rather than going for an, in for the attack but instead pushes forward and loses a lot of army and father is happy to trade that sizable dragoon force with those SEVs were perfect well played by father and just great linebackering level two weapons on the way now space still hasn't plopped down that fourth so this is still three bases and now three operational bases versus three which again is going to give father the overall advantage and they're about even on supply which means that the terran is ahead usually in those circumstances father mining let's see if you plot uh, this might be problemsome okay there are the SCV starting to troublesome i should say rather than problemsome also that really cut into spaces just raw army that was out in the field to maintain and and keep that map control so i'm curious if father's going to follow this up with some more vultures running around the map to kind of check things out and do some additional harassment we do have get a good look at the gateway count we do have seven gateways up for space no tier three tech though critically he's just now getting that templar archives and that's a really scary position to be in when you're hitting the 12 minute mark two additional gateways so he's going to go very very gateway heavy very gateway heavy just now starting level one weapons we already have level one weapons finish and level two weapons about two uh, one third the way finish forefathers so he's going to maintain that level one that that overall upgrade advantage plus He's sitting very pretty, getting mining off three gases, sitting on three bases, and Space is just now starting to think about taking his fourth. But I feel like the critical thing here is no Psy Storm yet, no High Templar out in the field, building up that Psy Storm to deal with the attack that, or at least the, the, the army movement that might come up from Father in a minute or two. Because you've got to expect, once that level two weapon's lands that father's going to do some sort of move either to rest map control or just press into his protoss opponent only two machine shops though for the tank floating and actually i take that back we're seeing not the machine shop thing i was going to say we're just going to sit at six factories but they're the seventh and eighth being plopped down and keep in mind that's eight factories versus eight gateways plus not a lot of is that eight one four five six seven eight yes plus no arbiter plus when the arbiter comes out it's probably not going to have a lot of energy for stasis, things like that. Plus, the, the Templar are just now flooding out. Maybe what Space can do, he's got this shuttle here. He does have a bunch of High Templar loaded in there. Maybe with some Storm Drops, he can even things out. A couple Dragoons and Zealots plopping out in the field. I like what Father's doing with these Vultures, maintaining map control, just going looking to see if there's additional bases. Space just now getting this Nexus, but this keep in mind, this is just now the fourth coming online. And this is what he's going to be up against. That is what he's going to be up against. Plus, the science vessel is already in place, which doesn't completely neutralize the Arbiter, but it does make it significantly less effective. Significantly less effective. And with level 2 weapons going up against level 1 weapons and no armor upgrades or anything else, and also, like, I'm going to say it, just kind of a thin army that's spread out all over the place from space, this is a scary situation. And he is spreading himself thin. He's got a lot of territory to defend. Maybe he can play Gorilla Toss at this stage. But he needs to gather his army to be able to do that, to just harass and pin and attack the back edge, to sacrifice bases, establish new bases, and run around the map that way. But the question is, is what does Father do now? It's really, And I feel like every answer is right for Father. Going out, just establishing map control, continuing to run the economic advantage, running into space, uh, using the fact that here's the storm drop. We'll see how effective it is. I think, yeah, I think that was mostly whiffed unfortunately Zel ah! two kills right there yeah i don't think he got a lot accomplished with that nice dodging by father and we'll see once this re waiting for these scvs to spread okay actually he did get a good amount of storm here so that's that's a big advantage not a big advantage that'll help him to sneak back into this 
another turret being a couple turrets being plopped down because father doesn't want to have to deal with that in the future and now i like what space doing is it looks like he's now starting to regather his army well hopefully he's kind of got three control groups spread out all over the place fourth base going up so with that with father sitting back not taking additional base not pushing out with the attack and dealing with those storm drops kind of this this hesitancy i feel like is an opportunity for space to sneak back into this so we'll see we'll see what happens now two science vessels out i think emp is researched i might have missed it level three weapons being researched with level one armor level one weapons has completed level two weapons working in level one and level two armor or sorry level one armor so the upgrade advantage is also sneaking back for space, so he just more or less through father's inaction, he is able to work back into this. Both armies are maxed, and I take it back. EMP was not researched; it's working now. Stasis is also being upgraded. Opposite corner. One thing for space, though, that I am still concerned about is even though he has the tech now, even though the the upgrades are starting to even out, his army still is clumped up, kind of around the map all over the place versus this Terran death ball, which looks like it is ready to move out. So now father hitting the 200. So he's just waiting for the 200 supply rather than the, and this is going to be right as level three weapons, level one armor comes online. But, but this is a critical thing. Protoss can win matches just by sacking bases, going for backstabs, continuing with those drops, continuing to deny fourth bases and now space starting to gather that army up. Father trying to siege up on the low ground. Don't see any high templar or anything else to kind of spot through. Good side storm over a huge bulk of that army. Two huge side storms hitting a bit of his own shuttle. Defensive matrix plopping down, but all oh, those tanks melting. Beautiful side storms from space. That might be game. That series of four side storms. That wow. I think that is it. Psy storms, whoa! Those psy storms from space! That was like some Korean pro level psy storm, I gotta say. Granted, there's still some siege tanks that are gonna be able to melt this army back, but wow, space has to feel good about that. He is up on supply by like 20. Another good, oh, another psy storm really softening that army up. Now space just needs to reinforce, looks like that SCV is just gonna watch this Nexus get built. Let's see if those vultures make their way down and that is exactly what space wanted now father's in a lot of trouble having to cancel a lot of these pylons because because father needs to go ahead and rebuild his army and the thing is is he if he loses another death ball like that that'll be game i mean that, that's all she wrote space just really needs to keep up on his macro hold the bases he currently has and that will that will provide him the victory father needs to go ahead and Either, well, first of all, just even if he kills the space, there's more bases out there. Looks like zealots are mind dragging, and they should be able to clean this up. A little bit annoying. But it looks like Father's plan currently is to just resupply his tanks, resupply his vultures, and attack once again. And unfortunately, space is actually falling behind on his micro, plus a lot of his army is out of position here in this bottom right hand base. So this second attack might be successful. We'll see. Level, keep in mind, level 3 weapons, level 1 armor, level 2 weapons, level 1 armor, opposite corner. Catching, oh, we're going to get storm off, no storm, there's a good storm. Again, hitting that storm, that big bulk of army, another good storm on the perimeter. No EMPs from either corner. I think that was, that wiped out the bulk of that army. But again, space can sack some of these bases. If As long as he kills this death ball, I think he'll end up winning overall. But he needs to get... Maybe a good stasis could even this out. Right now, he doesn't have an army fielded, though. Shuttle with nothing in it, kind of providing a bit of a distraction. Zealot's moving up from that corner, having to back off now. And Father barreling down with a very large, very aggressive attack force. This is a close reinforcement point. So I think this is Father going... I think this is Father looking, basically, he's like, if I can just dive in and shove this down his throat, I will win this match. And that is what you can do. Oh my goodness, that stasis though. Big stasis on a lot of those tanks. And I think that might give the time for the reinforcements to swing back in. We'll see. This is 123 supply to 165 though. From Father. 
And he still has Siege Tank. Another good Psy Storm. Softening up those tanks. And you can just see it in the supply count in the upper right hand corner. Space is not able to refield the army. Still though, great stasis. Might lose. Loses one Arbiter. Might lose another. High Templar getting knocked out by some mines in the low ground. It's still anybody's game at this stage. Father looks like he might be in... Yeah, there's GG. Father takes it. Crazy! I thought for sure that space with those side storms over that high, over that ground would just be able to wipe it out. But Father, through pure macro and the upgrade advantage, able to shove this through and take that match. And I believe that is two games out of the loser's bracket. So Father would advance, but he this is where he decided to drop out uh, and hand things over. So I believe uh, I'll have to double check as far as Hasu League. So that's basically what happened is his father withdrew from the tournament, maybe because of conflicts with other things. Um, that shows you the potential of father's play. I do want to highlight his Twitch stream. Go to twitch.tv uh, twitch backslash fathersc. Check that out. Yeah. I'm getting a comment from chat that father was even mined out in his main. Yeah, he was mined out his main and thin at his natural. Well played by him. Really snatching victory out of the jaws of defeat. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for listening.